Hey guys, I'm back again with another um, pre Fanimecon vlog. Um, it's next week, it's in a few days, and um, I'm really excited like always. Um, my cosplays are almost done, I just have to touch up a couple of things still, and then I'll be ready. So, um, I have to touch up my Tori plush for Mink, and then I have to... Well, I have to finish it, is what I mean. And I have to touch up my Gyro belt for Gyro from Sergeant Frog. And that's about it, I think. Um, so, yeah, I'm just about ready. Um, I have some stuff, like, hanging over here that I'm bringing. This is the belt. My Gyro belt. That's the back part. And then the front part right here is what I need to touch up. So there's that. And then right here is um, my bag for Kiki as you can see. It's pretty much done. Or it is done is what I mean to say. Um, but yeah I just keep it hanging here. And then I made this bag to go with Giro so it matches and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much it over here. And you can see all my con badges and stuff. Oh, my gear hat is hanging up here on Smoogie. Yay! Yep. And then all that other stuff that's not related to fan to me. Um, so yeah, that's it over there. And like, I have some stuff still hanging up over here. It's like the pre-con, um, mess kind of. It's just like... This is the top I'm wearing for Gyro, one of the tops. It's also my Mako top, but I use it for Gyro too because it works, I think. And right here is my radio for Kiki that I have out ready for the con and stuff. So I'll be wearing her Thursday, day zero, as you all know. I believe I've mentioned that before. And then there's my Kiki bow, which is on top of my wig head. That's my growl wig. Everyone knows my growl wig. They've seen it in past videos from like years ago. And I finally get to do growl again, so I'm excited for that. And Fandome finally posted their um, program schedule on their website, so I was able to see when autographs are. And X4 is signing Saturday and Sunday, so they're signing both of the days. And Sunday, I'm going to go get their autograph, and I'm going to be wearing Grell, and I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, Sunday's going to be fun, and all the other days will be fun too. Um, Thursday, I'm just wearing Kiki, and getting photos of her from a couple friends um, who do photography. So, I'm excited about that. And then Friday is when I'm doing Tifa for the first half of the day, and then... Gyro the second half for the old school gathering, um, which should be fun. And I believe Friday first half, I'm getting a shoot of Tifa. Yeah, Friday for the first half, like in the morning, I'm getting a Tifa shoot from a friend. And then Sunday, I mean Saturday, I almost skipped Saturday. Um, Saturday is Tifa and Gyro again. Tifa for the Final Fantasy Gathering, and then Gyro for the second half because he's like the most comfortable for me to wear to Music Fest because, you know, it's the most comfortable to wear to Music Fest, I think, where I don't have too many props or whichever. So, yeah, I decided to wear Gyro to Music Fest. I can't wear Grell. Because I don't want to wreck that dress, so. And then, now we are on to Sunday. Sunday is Honey for the Oron Gathering. And then Grell for X4's panel and autographs. And then after that is Mink from Dramatical Murder for the Dramatical Murder Gathering. And then for the Dramatical Murder panel, which is later at night. So, yeah, I think Sunday is actually my busiest day because that's three costumes that I'm doing for Sunday. 
So usually it's Saturday that's the busiest, but Sunday is now my busiest day. And then Monday is just honey for all day, just because. Um, so yeah, Monday is going to be the most chill day. It's always the most chill. I was trying to get the Oron gathering on Monday so that Sunday wouldn't be so packed, but I guess they can't do Monday gatherings. They did... They had the final, they had the Final Fantasy gathering on Monday last year because that was the only time we could have it. But I guess since Oron gathering probably won't be as big, they thought Monday would be too risky for it. So I understand that, and it's fine because it's early in the morning, so it'll get out of the way, which I'm thankful for. So, because if it was later on Sunday, I couldn't do it because I'm doing X four stuff. So. Yeah, but other than that, you know, everything's good to go. Um, and I've got my schedule ready, and I'll probably just make notes of so I don't forget stuff to do at the con, like forget to go to a panel or something, like the Gaia panel, because I keep forgetting to go to it, but this time I'm able to go to it because I'm not doing anything else at that time. It's on Saturday, and... So I'm going to make a note not to miss it because I don't want to forget to go. So, yeah, as you all know, I'm an avid Gaia person. I'm on it all the time and whatnot. So, yeah, if you want my Gaia username, um, I can put it in the description if any of you go on Gaia still. So, yeah. Um, after Fanime... I am planning to go to Sack Anime Summer, as you all know, I go to it all the time. Um, I'm not going to AX, I think that's a given though. Um, sadly, I'm skipping it this year, but, you know, it's to save up for other cons. Plus, like I said, I'm going to Ghibli Fest, you know, seeing Kiki in theaters. And then going to that Totoro store event thing. So, yeah, um, I guess you could say that instead of AX, you know, it's not really like a convention, but it'll be a nice, fun week, you know, all things Ghibli, I guess you could say. Um, and then I've been lately debating on going back to YaoiCon because I haven't been in forever, and I want to go back to YaoiCon because the last time I went was my first time to the convention and I only went like two days so it was fun and I enjoyed you know I enjoyed Yaoi Con that was way back when it was at another location though um but I really really want to go back because I mean I'm a huge huge Yaoi fan as everyone knows and it's like you know it's sad that I haven't been able to attend Yaoi Con in forever, so I want to go again. Hopefully this year, though, since I'm not doing AX or, you know, hopefully since I'm not doing AX, I can do Yaoi Con. I know there is Crunchyroll Expo, but that's way too close to Saki Anime, so I doubt that's going to happen. So hopefully Yaoi Con, since it's later, I think. It's in September, so... Yeah, I think it's it's in September, I think. September, October, around there, but I will try to go, so. Yeah, um, I probably already figured out my cosplays for that as well. Um, I will be bringing Mink from Dramatical Murder as default because, you know, Mink's in a yaoi game and it's a yaoi con, so, you know... It would be wrong not to bring him. Um, and then I was gonna um, do another version of Gakpo. Um, you all know I did the Duke of Animania version for Sack Winter, but I've started working on a magnet version of Gakpo. Um, it's kind of like my original or like my own like design for Magnet Gakpo. It's not like based off fan art or anything. But, like, I'm just going with stuff I have, but I'm, like, altering a top for him. So I think that'll be fun. Um, I do want to 
I do want someone to be my Kaito. And I mean a certain someone. Like, I'm not asking for someone to be my Kaito. I have my Kaito. It's just he has to actually, you know, get the stuff for Kaito. Because I know he's wanted to do Kaito for a while. So, hopefully I can convince him eventually to do Magnet with me. So, I doubt he'll go to Yaoi Con, but maybe some other time we can do it together. So, yeah, but I will do Magnet Gakupo for Yaoi Con. And then, a third costume? I know I've said before, like, on other places, that I wasn't going to bring France back to conventions due to, you know, the fandom being over-the-top crazy and just causing me to lose interest in the fandom and just leave it all together, but it's died down significantly, and, like, you know, the fandom basically migrated to other fandoms, so, like, the Hitalia fandoms pretty much died down, I think, from what my friends are saying, so, like, I might bring him to YaoiCon. We'll see. Plus, YaoiCon, it's an 18-plus con, meaning you won't see a bunch of preteens running around. So, that's also a good thing because, you know, it's a lot of the younger fans that are, like, making me not want to bring France to cons. Definitely not bringing him to Sack Anime again, that's for sure. Even if the fandoms died down, I don't want to risk bringing him to con like Sack Anime because there's too many younger fans there. And the last time I wore him to Sack Anime was when, like, I couldn't go anywhere without fans stopping me for pictures. Well, that was when I was with my friend as Spain. So I think that's why people wanted our picture a lot because, you know, we were fans in Spain. But. Hopefully, Yaoi Khan should be a safe con to wear a mat, so. Anyways, um, that's probably it for Yaoi Khan. I don't think I'm going to bring any other cosplays. I do have a bunch I could I could bring, because I do a lot of, like, crossplays and stuff. Like, I cosplay males a lot, so, like, I have a bunch of cosplays that would fit into Yaoi Khan. So, but I'm probably just going to bring those three. I might squeeze honey in there at or probably because I've missed doing Oron cosplay and I missed cosplaying Honey, so I'm, I could bring him to Yaoi Con if I want to do four. We'll see, though. But yeah, I have a ton, though. I could bring, like, Hozumi or Ryu. I haven't done Ryu in a while. Now I'm considering bringing him instead of Honey or something because I, mi I miss doing Ryu from Cute Hire because I love that show. It's about time we had some magical boys. Anyways, um, so that's all for now. I made this longer than I wanted to. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I will see you guys either right before Fanime or at Fanime. I want to make a vlog, like, the night before or something, because I've done that before, and I like making, I like making pre-con vlogs the day before because it, like, boosts up the excitement and whatnot. So, expect a video on Wednesday, I guess. So, yeah. Um, so, anyways, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to say. I will be taking pictures and videos at Fanime, of course. I'll be taking a bunch. I know I posted a slideshow of pictures from last year recently to, you know, help with excitement for this year. I will probably make a slideshow of pictures and video clips, like, the week after Fanime. Or, like, when I get back and recover and stuff. Because, yeah. I mean, I find it kind of pointless to just, like, upload the short clips by themselves because, like, they're not very long. They can be smashed together into one video. So I think that'll be better. So I'll try to do that with con videos I take that are short, I'll just cram them into one big video with pictures too. So yeah. Anyways, that's it, and I will see you guys later. So bye!